how ATM and CBM can help you to take the best design system. When I was when I had developer mindset, I knew benefits of all approaches. I did not know the trade of all the approaches. When I when I have a programming mindset, there are multiple ways of doing things. And I just get frustrated. Okay, there are so many ways of doing things. How to take the best approach? So I asked my architect and he gave me this architectural trade-off analysis method. He asked me to list every method and find out which is the one best method. Let's get into the definition of architectural trade-off analysis method. Architecture trade-off analysis method is a, is, a, is a process in which you collect all the stakeholders, take requirements from them. From the requirements, you find out what are the functional requirements, what are the goals, what are the non-functional requirements. From that requirements, you come up with quality attribute or as Neil or Mark say, architectural characteristics. Architecture characteristics are uh, generally non-functional requirement. Oh, application need to be fast. Application could be used by million users. Million users and fast. So it should be, it may start with 100 users. It may go up to million users. So you have to design this application for scalability. So what you do is you run the three different scenarios, but if we can run, deploy your application on cloud, multiple servers, maybe business layer could be on its own servers. So we, we can scale those applicably uh, rightly, how, how we can build, use microservices architecture. So all these uh, all this approaches have benefits and trade-offs. Uh, there are risks with some approaches if you are use, trying to use you're relying on certain hardware, you may not get the hardware and your architecture, your assumption is based on, or you, you, you are getting very fast hardware, or, or your company has not decided whether it's going on cloud or not cloud. So all those kind of concerns come into the play. Now, what is the, what is the cost benefit analysis method? In cost benefit analysis method, you calculate the cost of each approach and find out which is the best approach. Does the cost justify the benefits? You may have a very, very great approach, but if it takes one year to take you there, is it, uh, is it a really viable solution? Let's go, let's discuss one example. It's a little bit dated, but it's a very good uh, example where it will show you how architectural trade-off analysis method and cost-benefit analysis method helped us to come up with the best solution, how we were able to over, overcome our biases, our preferences, our favorite solution. So we have to implement download to Excel application. Uh, basically, most of the applications uh, you have web pages which, which talks to business layer, data access layer, and data accelerator talk to database. So most of the application had download to Excel. Couple of years back, there was not good solution for download to Excel. Uh, Microsoft libraries were not that mature. So th there were multiple approaches. Uh, first approach was using XMLT, using XML XLT. That time XSLT was very, very hot. It was very cool skill to have. So my, you know, big programmers, we love hot technologies which could look good on resume. So I was sold on this approach. So, but I, I did not sell it outright. So different de developers, different architects have their own favorite child. Somebody wanted a third-party reporting tool. 
with XML, XSLT, I, uh, what was the cost of uh, implementing that solution? You have to learn XSLT skill set, uh, XML, XSLT skill set, build those templates. And uh, whereas uh, then there was another, uh, 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 another approach of using a report writer, uh, using third party. Then there was another approach of using third party reporting tool. So there was a nice reporting tool that gives you download to Excel out of the box. But then you have to rewrite your web pages, uh, remove your web pages with this report tool, which would took uh, two to three months. And then there was an the approach. Uh, that time, uh, uh, Excel could understand HTML. So if you could uh, omit HTML from your web pages to Excel, it would understand and it will generate it will generate a excel sheet but multiple tabs so this approach uh, uh, didn't require that much effort all you have to is uh, write some uh, common function which takes the html and passes to this excel uh, don't excel download to writer and uh, and uh, uh, generates the download excel for you and all it took one week and all of us agreed on this approach. This was was most cost effective approach. We did uh, quickly some proof of concept to verify it, and uh, everybody agreed. And uh, uh, the old uh, old solution had a couple of problems. It was using CSV technology. You could not have multiple tabs. Very limited formatting. So th this this is how we came up the best approach, which was uh, loved by everybody. So uh, architecture trade-off analysis method and cost-benefit analysis method can really help you to come up the best design approach. So friends, if you like this video, like it, share it, and subscribe to this channel for your regular updates. Also connect with me on LinkedIn and Twitter, especially LinkedIn if you like small summaries of the video. I will be posting a lot of small summaries of the video on LinkedIn. Thanks again.